today I just decided to make a video about a couple tips in Save the World that not very many people know about, but some uh, some people just don't use them. And if you do like these kind of videos, just make sure to subscribe, comment up below, anything else you want to see, and enjoy these 10 tips. First tip I'll be showing off today is if you find a survivor like this, all you have to do is just build up like this, which will allow him to stand on top of here, and the husks will climb up the stairs and attack the survivor. You see, the reason why the survivor won't die is because an if this van does not break, the survivor will not take any damage. So until that van breaks, the survivor is invincible. So all you have to do is just wait until the timer is up to protect him, and then you just kill the husks that spawned, and then you can just talk to him and survive. Coming in at tip number two, um, when you put your base down as a constructor, if you stand inside of where you put the base, the animation of you placing does not occur, so you can save a little bit of time when building your shit. The third tip I have for you guys is, when your adrenaline rush is fully maxed out, you can use it on knocked teammates nearby within a certain range, and it will revive them without you having to do it yourself. Coming in at tip number four, instead of crafting ammo one by one, you can click crafting options and craft ammo in bulk to save a lot more time. And tip number five is, once you complete your Twine Peaks SSD 10, and I'm pretty sure you have to complete like Candy Valley SSD 6 or something like that, um, once you do those, you will unlock a weekly mission alert challenge where you have to complete mission alerts in a 160 plus zone. And once you complete that challenge, you will be rewarded with superchargers. Tip number six, when you are setting up your survivor squads, if you match the survivor squad type with the leader match, you will be boosted higher in your power level. Along with those tips, Tip number seven is clicking the see all stats inside of the command tab. You can look at specific statistics of your profile, such as movement speed, building speed, energy regen rate, or trap crit chance, trap healing bonus, stuff like that. Tip number eight is something I don't really see many people doing. If you go into the Expeditions page, and scrolling down to the best ones you can do, Expeditions basically just allow you to collect extra resources using the heroes that you own without needing to farm in any missions. All you do is just select them into here, and then start the Expedition, and you'll just use up research points. And you can look here too, and it'll tell you when the expedition will be over. And for tip number nine, completing any SSD 10 in a region will unlock an extra hero loadout slot and will also reward you 150 V-Bucks. Tip number 10, definitely not the worst one, is once you have completed all 10 of your Twine Peak Storm Shield defenses, you can go into your custom war games or daily war games and you can start up a war games with miss pods and it will count as and every elim on mini bosses that come out of miss pods will count as mini bosses towards a prequest because after you complete your ssd 10 it technically considers this as a 140 plus zone and another quick tip, uh, technically number 11, uh, subscribing to my channel will make you so much better at Save the World. Only about 30% of you guys are subscribed, and I have a giveaway going, and it'll be ending in a couple days for Nitro Classic. Um, feel free to join that, and I will see you guys in the next one.